Welcome back guys, we're back in with another tutorial. This time we're going to be going over how to stop TNT and Creeper explosions on your server. Now we're going to be going through Java and Bedrock, but we're going to start with Java first and then we'll go to Bedrock later. I'll put a little timestamp on the screen just now if you want to skip to that. And the way I'm going to do it for Java is I'm going to download a plugin called Grief Prevention. Um, I know there's other ways to do it through World Edit and World Guard and putting in some commands for that. However, I found this to be the quickest and easiest way. So with that, let's head straight over to the actual plugin itself. I'll leave a link in the description, but it's called Grief Prevention. I won't go fully into this because we may have another video coming out on this because it's an awesome plugin it will stop everything um, from people destroying houses stealing stuff from your houses etc but again we won't go into it because for this reason we're just going to be using it for the simple fact it's going to save our server from them creepers and tnt explosions now if you hit the download button and if you're not sure how to download a plugin just check out the seekerhost knowledge base we of course have a video on there just to show you exactly how to download and configure a plugin or of course you can just check it out through the local plugins list so once you've downloaded the actual plugin itself either through the site or you've downloaded it externally and you've uploaded it onto your plugins folder right here you're going to get two folders called grief prevention data and grief prevention jar so now we've uploaded and started our server back up we're going to just go into our test server right here and just like that it should all be configured and ready to go for you so i've gone into creative mode and i've given myself some tnt and also some creepers and first of all let's try with the tnt first so straight away you can see warning TNT will not destroy blocks above sea level. Now just test this out, let's hit it with a flint and come away from there, so just make sure we don't actually get hurt ourselves. And as you can see, it well we didn't destroy any blocks and it also didn't destroy the one next to it. Now of course grief prevention is a much better plugin than just stopping this, it does many many things. Um, but we'll go into that in a separate video. So that's the TNT sorted and now we want to make sure that creepers will not blow your stuff up so people can't just you know get a load of creepers or somehow spawn in a load of creepers eggs and then blow up your thing. So let's go into game mode um, survival and when I press enter they should blow up but we should see for a second whether they actually blow the land up or not. And as you can see there they hurt me however they did not blow up any blocks whatsoever. So now that that's all sorted, I just thought I'd mention that you can also do the actual blowing up of the creepers um, in-game through the game rules anyway. So you can do a game rule mob griefing and then you can turn that to false and their explosions also won't um, be able to blow up any blocks. However, you will be disabling stuff like with us um, shooting and blowing up stuff as well. So in Bedrock, you're going to find it a bit easier here. It's just going to be two commands that we can put into our chat bar. Of course, you will have to have cheats activated to be able to use this feature. So to stop the actual creepers blowing up, that's going to be game rule mob griefing and then we're going to change that to false that means the creepers will now well they'll still blow up in the same fashion but they won't be able to cause any damage by it for tnt what we're going to do is a forward slash game rule tnt explodes and then we're going to change that to false of course if you do want to keep it as true or you want to change it back just put this as true but we're going to put it as false and now neither uh, the creepers or the tnt will be able to cause any damage to us here on our bedrock server so thanks for watching guys and if you want any more videos like this don't forget to check out the Seekerhost knowledge base um, and of course my channel. Lots of helpful videos on there to get anything done on your server that you might need help with. So with that, see you next time. Bye bye.